in this video we're going to create this part as somebody did in AutoCAD and it took them 15 minutes to model it. I just want to see how you go about modeling this in FreeCAD and see if we can come up with the same sort of thing. So he provided the dimensions here. So I made a copy of them. Just took a screenshot of them. We're going to use those as the dimensions to be able to create it. So let's see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do, I already started a part and a body. I'm just going to do a sketch on the XY plane. And then to the center, somebody asked me about this. So when you first start out sketch, look at the size of, of this here. It's 16.6 .6 micrometers. So if I scroll my mouse wheel down, you'll see that coming up, coming up, coming up. And now the size that it's showing down there is about 74 millimeters by 44 millimeters. That's going to give us a better kind of scale to start with. We can do it in that micrometers and then scale it up once we start dimensioning it, but it's a little easier if you make it bigger to start with. Okay, so that shape has essentially three circles and I made sure this one was connected to this um, axis and then these two I will make sure are um, symmetrical around that axis and these two are the same size so we can make them equal and this one is not the same size so I'm not going to do that so I'm going to take this point and this point and make it symmetrical around that axis. So now we have the rough shape. And then when we connect these things together, if I just go here, it's going to attach it to a point, but I actually want it to be tangential. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the line first. That is not connected, but it's roughly in the place. And then if we zoom in there, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Select that point and select that circle and I'll say tangential. And I'll select that point and that circle and I'll say tangential. And then that point and that point, tangential. That point, that circle, tangential. That point, that circle, tangent. Same thing to connect it all up. So that makes a nice, easy way of getting to that shape. And then I want to, um, I'm just gonna just separate those a little bit. I'm gonna cut some of this away with my um, trim tool. Hold on a second, there we go. Trim tool didn't wanna work. So I'm gonna trim those pieces out. And now we have that rough shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a dimension and I'm going to give this guy a dimension. And there's also a dimension, I think, let's just have a quick look. There's a dimension that goes from the hole to the center of this hole that's 64. And the dimension between the two holes is 60. So let's look at that. I'm going to take this from here to here, and that was going to be 64. And I'm going to take this one here to here, to here and that was 60. I'm just going to go back this way. And then these dimensions you believe so it says 19 to the outside and this one is 48 diameter I'll make this 19 and we'll make this one 24 because that's a radius and 
then I think the only thing we need to do is to decide how far from the center point that's going to be. And I think we're pretty well locked up. Let's have a look. Go from there to there. And we'll make that 40 just to be a round number. Then we'll say OK. And now we know that's padded and we know that's 13 because that's on the dimensions there. Let's just double check. That's the 13. So I think we have the outside shape pretty good. Now these pieces here, they have a, a hole through them that's 11, I believe. And the outside of that is, it's a 25 diameter. So let's go in and do those. Do is we're going to create another sketch. And that's why plane. And we're going to include some geometry from this guy, this guy. And don't worry if we turn off our pad now, you'll see. You'll see the center points are there. I'm just going to draw two circles. Each one's going to be diameter 25. And that one is going to be equal to that one. Say OK. And we'll add those. And we know there's 16. So let's pick up 3 mil. Now I want to draw the holes through the whole thing. So we're going to do the same thing again. Let's pop that up there. And <clears throat> we'll include some geometry. That one. And that one. Turn off my turn off my pad. And then I'll draw our holes on those center points. Again, they're gonna be equal. And a diameter of 11. And we'll close that. And then we'll just say there are through hole. And they go through all. And they're going to be reversed. And there's my holes. Say OK. And then have this piece is a 48 diameter and we know it's 40 mil down from the center because that's where we said it was going to be let's go ahead and create that same process so we're just going to create a sketch xy plane include some geometry turn that pocket off draw my circle Give it a dimension. We know it's 48. And now we close that. And we know that that is 48 door. I can't quite see if that's 48 from the back or if it's 48 from the front, but I'm going to just go with 48. So we'll just pad that, we'll tell it it's 48. There we go. And the same thing again, we're gonna draw a hole. Bring in some geometry. Sure, my whole diameter is here. Let's take a look. Whole diameter is 28.52 to 28.58. So I'll make it 
And we'll close that one. Oh, as I didn't get that right on that point, so let me just fix that. There we go. And I'll close that one. I'm going to make that hole. It's going to be a through hole. And in reverse. And that's done. And then we want that web in, in there. So we're going to do another sketch. This time we're going to sketch in this plane. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring in some geometry. So let's bring in this geometry. Oop. Didn't love that. Let's bring in this geometry. And let's bring in this geometry. And then if we go back to our right hand side, we can just take a line and we'll take a polyline. We'll go from this point to this point. We're going to go back to there. And we're going to go down to about here. Go out to here. Now I'm going to just turn off my pocket and I'm going to take a single line and come down there and then I'm just going to tell it that this point and this point are coincident. Point and point are coincident. Point of coincident. Thank you. And there we have our webbing. We can dimension it. It doesn't really matter, but we can dimension it so we can hit it with this one. Okay, this one, this one, and we'll do this, this one, and then we'll close that, and then we can do a pad. This time the pad's going to be symmetrical, and I believe it's 11 mil. Say okay. And there we have our model. And then we just want to add some radii to it. So I'm just going to select here. So there's a radius there. I think the radius had to be three mil, but I don't know if we'll get away with a three mil everywhere. We'll try. Sometimes the radius won't work because of how it all comes together. So let's take off these edges. Okay, and there it is. A little bit of uh, difficulty getting the radii on, but refine the edges so you can't see those joins there. It works pretty well. Probably takes about the same amount of time, I would think, if you're doing it from scratch. If you've done it a couple of times, it's probably a little bit quicker. But there it is. There's more than one way to skin a cat, of course. You can, uh, there's lots of different approaches. I could have originally created this with the holes in it and then added these with the holes in them. Might save me a couple of clicks, but there's plenty of ways to get there, but you certainly can get there. So if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and then join the Patreon, become a member, channel member, whatever you want to do. Let's see what we can do to uh, grow the channel a little bit. Thanks.